Hello my lovely scholars, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at adding fractions, but this time it's mixed numbers, different denominators. Alright, so we're going to add the mixed numbers, sorry, add the whole numbers. We're still going to find the LCM of the denominators, and I'm actually going to show you two methods. So for each of the fractions that we're adding, I will work, I will work them two ways, two methods. Alright, so the first method, we're going to add the whole numbers and then add the fractional parts. The second method, we're actually going to change the fractions to improper fractions and add. Now, your teacher might tell you that he or she wants you to use a particular method so I want you to make sure I want to make sure that you know both methods that you can use and there are other methods as well remember in mathematics there's no limit to the number of ways you can solve a problem right there are many routes to the same destination once you get to the destination that's the important thing but these are the two main methods used and I want to make sure that you know these two main methods so the first method we're going to Add the whole numbers and add the fractional parts separately and then combine the answers. So we're going to we have 2 and 1 8 plus 3 and 4 6. So we're going to add the whole numbers. 2 plus 3, that's 5. We'll put it to the side. Find the LCM of 8 and 6, which is 24. 24 is the smallest number that 8 and 6 can divide into without leaving a remainder. 8 goes into 24 3 times, 1 times 3 is 3, 6 goes into 24 4 times, 4 4 is our 16, 3 plus 16 that's 19, over 24, and finally we add back the 5, the whole number 5 that we had put to the side, we put that back with the 19 over 24. And 19 over 24 cannot be reduced any simpler. That's the simplest way it can be expressed. So let's use the other method. So we had 2 and 1 8 plus 3 and 4 6. So we're going to change them to improper fractions. 8 to 16 plus 1 17 over 8. 6, 3 is 18, plus 4, 22 over 6. Still find the LCM of 8 and 6, which is 24. 8 goes into 24 3 times. Now we're going to multiply 17 times 3. 3, 7 is 21. 3, 1 is 3 and 2, 5. And you can go to the side or get your rough work paper to work the multiplication parts, right? 6 into 24 goes 4. Now we're going to multiply 22 times 4. 4, 2 is 8. 4, 2 is 8. And we're going to add 51 plus 88. So 8 and 1, 9. 8 and 5, 13. Over 24. Now you will notice when you do it, this method, you end up with some bigger numbers. Right? Some much bigger numbers, which you'll have to go to the side and work out, which is why I personally prefer this method, right? So now we have to see how many times, how many 24s we can get out of 139. If you don't know how to do long division or even short division, this might pose a problem for you, right? Because you're working with bigger numbers. So I prefer, especially at this level, that you use this method, but it still can be done. So when we're dividing by a number like 24, which is a bigger number than the, the regular time table that you're accustomed to, which we usually stop at about 12, you can still estimate in your head and try a number. So we know there are five twenties in a hundred. This is close to a hundred because remember there's a four also and five fours are 20. So that to be a hundred and twenty. 
So you can go to the side and try multiplying it by 5 or try multiplying it by 4 or as close to it as you can get, right? So let's try 5. 5 fours. Let's try the 5. 5 fours would be 20. You can put that here. 5, 2, 10, and 2. So 120 out of the 139, that leaves 90. So we know that we could not get another 24 out of it. So that is our remainder, 19. When you use this method, you will more than likely end up with some bigger numbers working with, right? But your teacher might tell you that that's the method he or she wants, and so I want you to learn both methods. So let's try this one using the first method. We add the 1 and the 5, we get 6. The LCM of 7 and 8, 56. 7 goes into 56 8 times. 3, 8, 24. 8 goes into 56 7 times. 1 times 7 is 7. 24 plus 7 is 31 over 56. And now we remember now to put the 6 that we had added and put to the side we need to our final answer needs to have the six there so it's six and 31 over 56 or let's try the other method so one and three seven plus five and one eight so now we're going to change them to mixed no i mean improper fractions so seven one seven plus three ten over seven 8, 5 is 40 plus 1, 41 over 8. Still find our LCM. 7 into 56, 8. 10, 8, 80. 8 into 56, 7. 7 times 41, 7, 1, 7. 7, 4 is 28. And we're left with 7 plus 0 is 7. 8 plus 8 is 16. And 2 and 1, 3 over 56. Now do you see big numbers we get, right? Not that we're scared of big numbers, but if you can work with smaller numbers, right? It's always easier to work with the smaller numbers. Let's not kid ourselves, right? So the easier way out. Alright, so now we have to estimate. We know that there are 250s in 100, 450s in 200, and then the 6. The extra 6, 4, 6 is 24, so that's 240. This is all we have to do. You have to try and get as close to the number as possible, and then you try multiplying by. So that's, that's how many so far. We have 4 for 240, then we can probably get another one out of the 300, and another one out of the 67. So that will be 6. So we multiply 56 by 6. 6, 6 is 36, 6, 5 is 30, and 3, 33. Okay? So, that's 6 times, and we take the 3, 3, 6 from the 3, 6, 7, and we'll, so we'll take away 6 is 1, 6 take away 3, 3, so we get back our same answer. Right? But you do admit that it is more difficult to work with the bigger numbers. When you change it, to an improper fraction, you're going to end up with bigger numbers in the numerator. And so, yeah, you're going to have bigger numbers to work with. But it can be done. So let's do it this route. Uh, 2 plus 3, 5. LCM of 2 and 4 is 4. 2 goes into 4 2 times. 1 times 2, 2. 4 goes into 4 1 time. 1 time 1 is 1. 2 and 1, 3. Finally, we add our whole number here. 5 and 3 quarters. Or let's work in the other method. 2 and a half plus 3 and a quarter. 2, 2 is 4 and 1. 5 over 2. 3, 4 is 12 and 1. 13 over 4. The LCM of 2 and 4 is 4. 2 goes into 4 2 times, 5, 2 is 10, 4 goes into 4 1 time, 13, 1 is 13, and we end up with 23 over 4, 4 goes into 23 5 times, remainder 3 over 4. 
So whichever method we use, we should get a, our same answer. We should get the same answer. Different routes heading to the same destination. This route might be called a scenic route. You know, you're going all over and, you, and it's probably more difficult to some hills and valleys, you know, and this route, straight, sorry, straight highway to the destination. All right, so let's work. This one is in the first method, four plus one, five. The LCM of four and two is four. Four goes into four one time, three once, three. Two goes into four two times, one time, two, two. And we end up with three plus two, five over four, which is an improper fraction, so we need to change that to a mixed number that gives four goes into five one time, remainder one over four. And finally, we add the one to the five that we had put to the side, that's six and one over four. Now, if you're not familiar with changing mixed numbers to improper fractions, improper fractions to mixed numbers, reducing fractions, and all of those, each one of those that I've just mentioned, there's a video that was done on that. So you can just check that video, bring yourself up to speed in working, you know, because when you're adding and subtracting fractions, you're going to need to be doing all of that. Changing mixed numbers, finding the LCM, changing back to mixed number from improper fraction, all of that is involved. And that is why I did those videos from early on to make sure that you have those skills. If you still don't have those skills, if you still haven't mastered it, just go back and check those videos. Bring yourself up to speed. So let's use the other method. We had four and three quarters plus one and a half. And we're going to use the method wherein we change the mixed numbers to improper fractions. Four, four, 16 plus three, 19 over four. Two ones, two one one, three over two. The LCM is four, LCM of four and two is four. Four goes into four one time, 19 ones, 19. Two goes into four two times, three two is six. 19 plus six is 25 over four. And four goes into 25, six times remainder, one over four. So you see we got back over six and a quarter. Different routes, same destination. Here we go now, we are going to work the first method. Two plus three gives five. The LCM of eight and three is 24. Eight goes into 24 three times, one times three is three. 3 goes into 24 8 times, 2 8s are 16, 3 plus 16 gives 19, and that goes over 24, and our final answer is 5, don't forget to add the whole number that you put to the side, a lot of students forget, if you just write that 19 over 24 is the answer, you are absolutely incorrect, so you must remember that you had added the whole numbers and put that to the side a little bit while you work the fraction and when you get your final answer you must go back and say come now we're ready for you put it in front along with the fraction part so that is the answer or let's work it the other method so now we're going to find we're going to change the mixed numbers to improper fractions 8, 2, 16 and 1, 17 over 8. 3, 3 is 9 and 2, 11 over 3. The LCM of 8 and 3 is 24. 8 goes into 24 3 times, 17 times 3. Go to the side, get your rough paper, work it out. 3, 7 is 21, 3, 1 is 3 and 2, 5. 3 into 24, 8. 11, 8 is 88. Now 51 and 88 give 8 and 1, 9, 8 and 5, 13 over 24. We had something similar to, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this is what we had. Oh, so what, what do you notice here? I'm just realizing. I wrote these fractions just out of my head, right guys? 
And I'm just realizing now it was the two exact same fractions. 2 and 1 eighth, I guess my memory was just reeling it back up, right? The only difference was I had written 4 sixths, 3 and 4 sixths, but 4 sixths cancels to give 2 thirds. They are equivalent. So I wrote 3 and 4 sixths and 3 and 2 thirds, and I'm just realizing these are the same problems, okay? So, yeah, so we will get the same answer. So we see we had 139 divided by 24. So, and we got 5 and 19 over 24. Did you guys pick that up? While I was working this, did you pick up that it's the same set of fractions? I'm just picking it up. Because I was just writing out these fractions out of my head, right? So the answer was 5 and 19 over 24. Okay. So we showed that, yeah, sometimes that happens, right? Memory works in that way. Okay, so let's work these. 1 plus 2 is 3. The LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. 2 goes into 6 3 times. 1 times 3 is 3. 3 goes into 6 2 times. 1 times 2 is 2. And 3 plus 2 gives 5. Put it back over 6. Final answer, we're going to go back and get the 3 that we had put aside. We're going to fetch the 3, put it up front, and then write our fraction. Or, or, because we're showing that we know different methods, right? We're versatile. That's what we're showing. We're versatile. So we have 1 and a half plus 2 and 1 third. 2 once 2 and 1, 3 over 2, 3, 2, 6 and 1, 7 over 3. The LCM is 6. 2 goes into 6 3 times, 3, 3 is 9. 3 goes into 6 2 times, 7, 2 is 14. 14 plus 9 gives 23 over 6. 6 goes into 23 3 times because 3 sixes are 18. And there's a remainder of 5 over 6. So we got back over same, the same answer. Right? So whichever method we use, and there are other methods, many other methods of adding fractions, mixed numbers. So whichever method you prefer to use, or whichever method you are asked to use, you should be able to handle yourself. Right? And if you want to use one method and then use the other to double check, that's another way to go about doing things, right? So sometimes we do work and we just want to make absolutely sure that we are correct. So we might use one method, the preferred method that is asked for, or the method that we like, but still use the other method if we have the time Sometimes you don't have the time, but if you have the time, to just to, just to double check, to make sure. All right, so that's, that's it for adding fractions, mixed, mixed numbers at the grade four level. There are more complicated fractions that you will meet as you go further up. For now, this should do you well. All right, so if you have benefited from this video, please, Drop a line just to say, thank you, miss. Please share the video so other persons can benefit, whether it's your classmates, your friends at home, you know, your neighbors, your siblings, your cousins. Share it with them so that they can benefit from the information. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Right? And drop a comment to let me know which topics you would like me to do videos on and I will certainly do those videos for you. So my scholars, take care, and I'll see you in the next video.